Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. For many people, maps, cameras, watches, books, and even digital music players have been replaced by smartphones that do it all. But that is a growing concern for some psychologists. Problem solver Susan Hogan shows us why. Some doctors worry that people who prefer smartphones to face-to-face -face interaction are at risk for a new type of addiction. First thing I do when I wake up is grab my phone. 32-year-old Matthew Barrett is never far from his smartphone. I mean, to be honest, it's never, never without it. I know I'm addicted because I know without it, I do have withdrawal. And Matthew, a PR executive, isn't the only one living his life almost completely online. Around the world, smartphone sales have exploded. In 2010, an estimated 302 million devices were sold. By 2016, that number is expected to hit one billion. If I don't have my phone, I can't really do anything. I can't function right. The more connected we are, the less we're connecting. Addiction specialists say that too much smartphone use not only causes people to disconnect from reality, but smartphone withdrawal can cause physical symptoms like anxiety, insomnia, and even depression. And it actually creates a lot of cortisol in the brain and in the body. That stress hormone is actually cardiotoxic. So it's actually very bad, not only for your mental health and maybe your relationships, but it can also be bad for your biological health as well. But like other vices, for many, the power of this addiction outweighs the mental and physical cost. And until something smarter comes along, young people on the move, like Matthew Barrett, show no signs of putting down their smartphones anytime soon. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.